Hi there YouTube folks, Ricky Tang here. Now you find me on a motorcycle that doesn't belong to me. Uh, this is a Kawasaki Ninja 650. This is due to the nice guys at Fraser's Motorcycles in Gloucester. They've graciously agreed to allow me to uh, take out some of their demo bikes for a little first date, if you will. I've only been riding this bike for about uh, 15 minutes so far. <laughs> And first impressions is that it's a, a comfortable ride. It's uh, got a low seat height, quite upright riding position. The rear, the rear sets are not very rear set. What is nice and kind of uh, points to the heritage of the Ninja brand is that the handlebars are quite upright, but they're kind of a clip-on styled. They're angled a bit like clip-ons. So it does feel a little bit racy in terms of the uh, your hand and the arm position. Get it round this bend, shall we? So I've got a little loop lined up. Just to take it on a little ride. So about 50 miles or so, maybe a bit less. So I thought I'd start with this little ride, just a straightforward run on the motorway quickly, just to see what it's like at motorway speeds and see what it's like to overtake I'm doing 55 well that was good but um, that was sixth gear overtake from 55 to about 70 and uh, managed it fine uh, this bike is uh, like the full fat version so it's not uh, A2 compliant, but it can be made to be A2 compliant. It does pick up well. <laughs> uh, this bike has uh, 68 PS, I do believe. It's about 65 horsepower, 65, 66 horsepower. So it's not, uh, not gutless by any stretch. I'm an indicated 72 on the clock. Revs uh, around about 5.8. And it red lines at, uh, the red line starts at 10. Now on this little ride here, no undue buffeting on my crash helmet, which is nice. It's actually really smooth. Admittedly, I'm not going very quick, but that is uh, quite nice. Oh! Oh, this is good. Uh, the um, services are here. So what I could do is pull over and hopefully do a little walk around for you. So I just want to park somewhere out of the way. Uh, that'll do. So this is where I've got to get brave. My first uh, walk around with a camera in public. <laughs> so here we are. Uh, 2020 Kawasaki Ninja 650. And I've got to say, <laughs> that looks pretty good, doesn't it? That's not a bad looking bike. And I've just noticed, like I said, I haven't been riding it for long. I've just noticed the uh, metal flake paint. Can you see this about me getting in the way? Especially there. Hopefully the, the sun 
catches that. Oh yeah, look at this. Yeah, got, we've got the same effect on there, on the tank. Yeah, it's a whole, the whole uh, bike is in that metal flake effect, reminiscent of the uh, H2. So it's 649cc, like I say, about 68 PS. Um, new for 2020, they've done some restyling and they've uh, kind of uh, tweaked the cowlings and the fairings and they've made the rider and passenger seats a bit more comfortable. We have twin discs, as you'd hope and I'd expect. Um, twin piston calipers, Nissins. Suspension uh, is 41 mil forks at the front. You just see the shock nestled in there by the uh, foot peg, just see the base of it. That is adjustable for preload. Uh, 160 60 rear tyre, ZR17, 120 70 ZR17 at the front. Um, and one of the biggest improvements I think over the last years, for me anyway, is uh, LED lights. Shall I? It's a bit sunny, you might not be able to see very much, but. That's a uh, main beam. And I'll get it on low beam. But that's enough uh, of a look around. I haven't got the bike for long, so uh, let's get to riding. Yeah, when you uh, pull away from the standstill, I wasn't even trying that hard. And it gets up to speed uh, quickly. Let's see what it's like around some of these bends. Up in sixth now. Oh, I think we've uh, recently had this road re tarmac. Oh, nice bend. I can see uh, when you get up to, uh, what's that, about, well, pl past 6,000 RPM. And I can feel the horsepower wanted to uh, pull this bike along. Can I dispatch this one? Do I get a bit of a free road here? Nah. I think I do. Fourth gear. Oh, look at that. Fourth gear, that was nice and easy. Oh, this tarmac's lovely. Yeah, the engine is, uh, yeah, the engine is willing. And there was about 4,000 RPM in sixth. And you open the throttle feel the engine working to pull you up to speed but it's not struggling oh shame this road is so so short <laughs> this tarmac's lovely uh, on this bike uh, there are no rider modes you know no rain or no sport uh, that sort of thing there is uh, ABS as there should be no traction control, but that's not necessarily a deal breaker. But with about 65 horsepower, traction control isn't really necessary. Don't, just don't do it. Uh, unless you're in very sketchy conditions, then you just have to ride carefully. And be careful with the throttle application just like we all had to back in the day. <laughs> and I survived, mostly intact. So here I am, pottering along, under 30 mile an hour, in fourth, and the engine feels nice and smooth. Will it pull this? Oh, pulls, uh, pulls absolutely fine. 
So, so far so good. And I absolutely love this dash. I'll try and get a bit more footage if I remember. So we've got uh, trip settings down there on the left. Some of the settings there. Oh, battery voltage as well. That's handy. Especially if you've been, uh, if you have to park the bike where you haven't got a, a battery charger and you leave it for a few days, it's nice to be able to uh, check your battery voltage. So it's good to keep that at a healthy level. Cool. The mirrors are good, took a bit of adjustment to get them where I like them. They do get hit by vibes at some revs, but they're big and you don't see much of your arms in them, so that's nice. You can connect this bike to the Kawasaki Rideology app, which is available for Android and uh, iOS. You can get the bike to uh, speak to the app kind of get your trip computer information, uh, fuel level. But because this hasn't got a, an IMU, an inertial measurement unit, it can't do some of the more advanced things like you can get on the uh, H2SX, for instance. You can't get your lean angles and G-forces, that sort of thing. Okay then. Sounds quite good on the old rev. Nice. Let's uh, get going, shall we? the ranks in the in the motorcycle world that feels quick when you give it the beans in at least second third and fourth that is not slow it feels um, willing in a non-threatening way If you come from this, uh, if you come to this bike from a slower bike, and then you know give it the berries straight out of the gate, it will probably scare you a little bit because it'll achieve speeds quicker than what you're used to. But there's no uh, kind of crazy top end rush to make you feel like you're about to get out of control. My helmet, uh, crash helmet, is uh, in a calm little bit of air, really. I'm not being knocked about. I'm uh, 170 centimeters, or five foot seven. And while I'm at it, I'm about, I think, 72 kilos, or about 11 stone, two, three, four. And my inside legs are 32 inches. Inches. So yeah, you could certainly uh, have some fun on this around the bends. Uh, the suspension uh, kind of took care of business. You can't pretend that this is high quality suspension. You know, this is not your uh, 10,000 uh, pound middleweight bike. It's a 7,000 pound middleweight bike. There has to be compromises somewhere. But uh, didn't even get close to feeling uncomfortable there. Oh, by the way, the clutch is amazingly light. Really nice light clutch. Around the bend, pune it out the corner, let's go. 
Yeah, it's nice that. strongly uh, out of the corners. Now uh, Fraser's of Gloucester they do have a, a few franchises but historically they were a Kawasaki main dealer. They've still got a good relationship with Kawasaki and the demo bikes that they have I think uh, are mostly Kawasaki's. So there'll be some more Kawasaki's to come in the near future several of which I'm very excited about. So we're nearly at the end of the first date with this bike. Uh, would I go on a second date? Yeah, I think I would. It's enjoyable. It's uh, fun to uh, twist that throttle out and uh, throw it around the lanes. I hope you like this little uh, first date video. Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you have any questions about this bike, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll try to answer them. I don't know all the ins and outs of this machine, but I'll put links to uh, Kawasaki uh, main product page for this bike and a link to Fraser's of Gloucester as well. If you're in the area and you'd like to uh, take this bike out for, uh, for a test ride. So thanks for hanging out with me and uh, I'll see you again soon.